All right, what's going on, everyone? It's Anthony. I am the founder of the High Ticket Ecom program. I'm here with Riley. Riley's a student in my coaching program for a little bit over a month now, I think, right, Riley? A little over a month, yeah. A little over a month. Why don't you introduce yourself real quick? Give like a quick, brief 30 second intro, kind of where you're from, everything like that. Oh, uh, yeah, my name's Riley. Just turned 20 years old. I was a student in college, dropped out recently, but yeah, I've been doing ecom since August, but I just joined the program. So yeah. Nice. Nice. So you've been in the program for a little over a month now, I think. Um, what were your sales the past 14 days, past like two weeks or so? About 20,000. 20K the past two weeks. Okay, cool. Yeah. Was that, was that kind of what you expected when you, when you started high ticket dropshipping or when you joined the program or what was um, the was what you were expecting? Well, my goal for the first month was to hit um, 10K and I hit 17K. So blew that. Blew that out of the water, but yeah. And my goal for this month is 40K. 40K? February? Yeah. I think you could do that with the niche you're in. We won't say it on the call, but yeah, I think we can I think we can hit that. How long have you been doing Ecom for? You said since last August, right? Since August, yeah. Like six months. Six months, cool. Did you did you start out with any other like forms of ecom or was it just straight up high ticket drop shipping when you started? Uh, I started out with high ticket, yeah. High ticket. No experience. Nice. How'd you how'd you come across ecom and, and like Tell me a little bit about that. Just across Twitter, uh, I came across your account and a few others. Yeah, got it, got it. I know, uh, I know you. So you joined the program. You're doing it in August, and then you joined the program like a month and a half ago. What were like sales before you joined the program, and then like in the program? Um, before I joined total, I had like not even fifteen thousand, and I had like two refunds. So like I wasn't even profitable. But yeah, since then we've been pretty profitable and scaling it up. Cool, nice. What do you think like the main, I guess, thing was that kind of switched it for you? Whether it was like the program or the not, do you think it was like a supplier that kind of started to take off or maybe you knew like the ads more? What do you kind of think it was that took off for you? The program definitely helped. I, It wasn't one specific supplier. I've been testing like five or six since I've joined, maybe more. And the one that's really doing the best for me, I already had before I joined the program. So yeah, it was really just getting the ads dialed in and everything like that. For sure. For sure. Cool, man. Um, tell me a little bit about dropping out of college. Cause I remember when I, I dropped out of college, what do you think was like the hardest part? Like, did your parents care when you dropped out or no? Um, they definitely supported me. They knew it was like the route I always wanted to go. They said it like makes sense. Like I've been trying things ever since I went to college and finally, um, starting to do well with this. So yeah, they definitely, they see that I can do things my own way. For sure. Yeah, hundred percent. What, what do you think was like the hardest part? Like, were you worried at, about, at all about dropping out, or was it kind of just like super confident? Like, I'm gonna make this work either way. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, I wouldn't say I was worried at all because I, yeah, I just kind of know myself. I know I'll make something work, even if this ended up not working. I knew like I'd figure things out myself. I wouldn't say I was worried. It doesn't even feel that much different now that I dropped out. Like I have more time, but yeah, just more freedom feels good. Yeah. For sure. Do you, do you feel like it helps that like you kind of don't have any other option? Like there's no other option. Like you kind of have to make it work. I knew when I, when I dropped out, it was like, okay, now it's like real. Like I actually have to like make this full time or else I'm like fucked kind of. Yeah, definitely. And also with the investment in the program, it was like more money than I had to my name, put it on a credit card and I knew I just had to make it work. Yeah. I put it on, on my business credit card and I got it paid off and first three weeks so that really felt good yeah just taking a bet on myself good stuff good stuff what what kind of like made you i mean pull the trigger like first firstly on like dropping out of college like because you were you dropped out what like sophomore year was it middle of sophomore year yeah middle of sophomore year okay what was like the deciding factor that was like now's the time like why didn't you drop out earlier why was it like okay like now is like the time like I'm dropping out. Um, well, there was a deadline that was um, to get 75% tuition refund back. And okay. uh, it was just killing me, like taking out all the loans, stuff like that. And I just really thought about like the opportunity cost of what I was missing out on. If I continued to, cause I knew I wasn't going to do anything with a degree. I was just, it was just there as a safety net. So yeah, I knew it would light a fire under my ass and be yeah. able to figure things out. And, yeah. Save some money. For sure. For sure. I mean, like getting to where you are now, like the 20K, 20K a week, I mean, 40K a month, I think you could easily do in February, I think. I don't even know if all your ads are scaled out like completely yet. No, they're like, not. They're not, are they? are they? Not really, no. Still testing. Like what part specifically about the, like the program do you think helped you the most? Was it like the one-on-one -on -one aspect, the ads, supplier research? Tell me a little bit about, about that. I'm um, definitely the one-on-one. -on -one. I love, I probably annoy you. I always pick your brain about like little things, ask you questions, but, um, and definitely that and uh, the supplier research, your method actually is like, really has helped me find 
hundreds of suppliers and also just um, reaching out, like putting in the putting in the work to call all the suppliers. It takes a lot, but it's been paying off well. For sure. Definitely. Definitely. Um, cool. So yeah, 40K, 40K a month, February. I mean, based on your results, like so far, where do you, where do you see your business going like six to 12 months from now, like end of this year? What's your kind of goal there? That's tough to say, but if I keep on the trajectory I'm on right now, I could definitely see myself doing six figure months. Hopefully that's what we're aiming for. So yeah, yeah, I'm just going to have to keep putting in the work. The biggest thing is research, reaching out to suppliers. But if I find one or two home run suppliers, I could definitely do that. I think. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Do you have a, do you have a VA yet? I know we were talking about it. I don't remember. I don't yet. Just product uploader. Yeah. It's probably time to get a, I think so. Is the customer service starting to ramp up a little bit or? Um, kind of like I'm getting inquiries every day and I have a little part-time job. I work like 15 hours a week. And so sometimes I can't take calls midday and miss out maybe on a few sales. So it'd probably be worth the investment, honestly. Yeah. In, in terms of the, in terms of the program, like, was there anything specific that kind of surprised you about it? Um, about like joining or like maybe like what you were expecting versus what you got? Was there anything that kind of surprised you about it? Um, yeah, I kind of, at first I kind of wrote off the, um, the video, the school course, cause I kind of already had my store a little bit established. So I like at first wasn't really looking through the videos, but I found every time I've like gone to look at them, I've found something like super profound that's changed my business. I know Good. there was one thing specifically, I'm not going to say it cause don't want to spoil it, but there was one little trick that um, definitely helped me a lot and kind of blew my mind how you figured out how to do that. So Good. Cool. Cool, man. Um, nice. If you were, I mean, if you were speaking to someone that like didn't know e-commerce or didn't know how to get drop shipping, they didn't know who I was, but they really wanted to start dropshipping, they really wanted to enter the, the e-commerce space. What, what advice do you think you would you would give them if they wanted to wanted to start something with e-com? Yeah, definitely. I would just say just, just start, honestly, like putting in the work. Um, it takes a lot, but honestly, anyone can do it. Um, I did it for the first four or five months just off free information online, and it was tough, but definitely like at least got things started, wasn't profitable at first. And then if you, yeah, learn the basics and then take a bet on yourself, if you have to invest in somebody or to help you mentor you, whatever it is, um, take it to the next level. Yeah, I think definitely just put in the work to do that. Definitely, definitely. Cool, man. I think that's all the all the questions I had for you. I'm super, super happy about your success. Um, I mean, it's awesome that you dropped out. I think you're gonna crush it like within the next year as well, like 100, 200K months. I can just tell based on your based on your niche and just, just your work ethic, dude. I'm, I'm proud of you for real. Like I can just- Appreciate can it. Working hard and everything. Do you have any uh, any last words for the for the people watching? Any maybe words of wisdom? Anything you can can give them? If not, it's fine too. Not really. I just want to thank you for everything you've helped me with. Of course, um, the community you've built and the school program and one on one chat. Everything. I really appreciate that. It's been helping me a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it, man.